Hey guys, John here from Obscure Reference, and uh, it's my birthday tomorrow, so I figured I'd jump on with a little bit of an extra recorded video. You know, I test the waters again. I had so much fun making the Planet of the Apes one, but I just want to do something fun, something lighthearted. So today we're going to be messing with some AI, and of course that stands for Artificial Insect. Emanation. Play the clips there. Good clips, yeah, yeah. No, for real though, uh, we're gonna be messing around with novel AI today. I figured there's, uh, you know, we've, we've been, had this channel for a while now, going on a year. And aside from the three of us, we've thrown a few other names out there. And uh, I just, I figured it's time to make some lore. So why not just have us simulated battle against each other to see what kind of crazy character interactions we get, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. We'll, we'll see what happens, you know? Anything could happen when two people share a cell, cuz. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> I think I'm coming down with something, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> okay, well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, uh, let's say fighters will all have signature moves they use. More often than, um, Yeah, so I want to objectively determine who's the greatest fighter out of our little uh, obscure reference family. And I figure the best way to do that is simulate battle so we don't accidentally destroy the world with our cataract power. Uh, we're not going to be driving Cadillacs on this channel. Uh, no eating calamari over here. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to be able to objectify the power of our attacks based on the number of damage it does to each other. I don't know exactly what the AI is going to scale our power to, so I'm thinking we're going to start with 100 hit points each, and uh, we'll go from there. Maybe it turns out we need 1,000. Maybe the AI just really starts to give us like some world-ending abilities. Okay, now I just need to make the characters. <coughs> So starting off with my entry, I've got uh, John is the funny one of the group. What he lacks in for in knowledge, he makes up for in chaotic judgments. And under strengths, I just have chaotic. Um, <laughs> I have other strengths. Uh, I ha I have strengths. He is in. He's got. You know what? Creative thinking. Um, uh, I need another strength. You know, autism. There we go. Okay. Weaknesses. Mean people. Eye contact. Loud noises for real, though. Signature moves, flossing, backflips, backflip. <laughs> I don't want to say reverse cowgirl. I'm just going to put jaguar style, see what it does with that. Strength. Nice. Patrick is a nice guy. Trivia. Trombone. <laughs> Hope that comes up. Weaknesses. Hiking. Women. Or hug. Okay, so Patrick's, uh, Patrick is, is as knowledgeable as he is funny. He is John's brother and he likes Paul Giamatti. His strengths are that he's nice, he does trivia, and he can play the trombone. As for weaknesses, it's going to come down to hiking, women, and comedic timing. His signature moves include the ham bone, the rolling kick, and the bear hug. 
So for Austin, I've got that he is a very analytical, but not what many would consider comedic gold. He is the real backbone of the group and does all the hard work. His strengths are that he's smart, he's a quick thinker, and he's ruthless. His weaknesses are the gray man, Jared Leto's Joker, and Jaeger. Uh, his signature moves include the reverse punch, energy legs, and I've typed the word poor man's pride there. We'll see what the AI does with that. Whatever it does, I'm sure it'll be accurate. Okay, so throwing Maddie into the mix, I'm sure you've heard her name thrown around a few times. Maddie is Austin's girlfriend. She really likes animals, and she has a dog named Mace. Her strengths are that she's bubbly, she's friendly, and she can socialize well. Her weaknesses are that she's dumb as a box of rocks. That's an inside joke. I'm not being any meaner than uh, is appropriate for a friend. Um... <laughs> Uh, her signature moves include the giggle, target, and inverted style. Don't know what inverted style is going to do. Can't wait to find out. Next up, we have Mandy. Mandy is John's wife, and she's actually low-key really good at pool. That, uh, I don't know why. Her strengths are that she makes really, really good soups. She's very likable and incredibly smart. Weaknesses are going to be her ankles, any kind of social interaction, and being an adult in general. Uh, her signature moves are going to include the cartwheel, the spinning kick, and something I've made up called Baller's Brawl. We'll see what that does. Okay, next in on the list is going to be our dog called Doggo. Uh, that's mine and Mandy's first dog together, and he's a half mini Aussie, half Britney Spaniel. His strengths are going to be that he's very smart, strong-willed, and fast. And his weaknesses are bringing the ball back, listening, and nail trims. He is a monster. Uh, his signature moves are going to include spinning, rollover, and high five. <laughs> okay, and last up on the list, we're going to have Bartholomew Kuma. That's the second dog Mandy and I had together. We call him Kuma. He's a half golden retriever, and why does it say hauled? And half great Pyrenees. Uh, his strengths are going to be rope, having the heart of a champion, and his insanely loud bark. His weaknesses are going to come down to being three-legged, dumb, and teething. His signature moves are going to be chewing, getting in bed, and helicopter tail. <laughs> I can't wait to see what that one does. All right, but that rounds off the uh, that rounds off the contestants. Let's get into it. All right, the time has come. It's John's birthday and the Obscure Reference family is gathered together to celebrate and do battle to compete for John's love. Everyone is ready to have a good time but fight their hardest because they know whoever makes it to the end of the tournament will get a chance to fight John himself. Everybody gathers round as round one is about to begin. As Mandy and Patrick can't step into the ring, there is a huge sense of excitement in the air. It's a battle of opposites as they're both trying to prove they're the best fighter for John. Patrick begins the fight with a trivia question. What kind of animal is a kangaroo? A kangaroo is not an animal! Mandy with the freaking ultimate fact pull. Mandy hits Patrick with a rolling kick and then hits him again with a spinning kick. He is down to 30 HP just like that. <gasps> Mandy solid strong kicks. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, that... Not only was Patrick thinking he had her with the trick question there, obviously kangaroos aren't animals. Mandy counters with the two kicks, and just like that, Patrick's down to 30 hit points. I can't believe you got that wrong. Wait, Patrick's still holding on to that being a, not a trick question? Mandy gets in close and attempts an inverted style, but Patrick blocks the attack. It was a trick question. I knew it wasn't an animal. We all know kangaroos are just dolphins walking up. Patrick hits Maddie. Maddie's now in the ring with the reverse punch, and now he's down to 20 hit points. <laughs> I like that he not. Okay, wait, wait. Now that's where you're wrong. Kangaroos are a type of mouse. They're very large, though. Okay, so to recap, Patrick started the fight with a trivia question that Mandy got incorrect by saying kangaroo is not an animal and then mandy counters hit kicking patrick twice bringing him down to 30 hp patrick then reveals he that she got the question wrong 
and Mandy gets in close to attempt an inverted style, but Patrick blocks that, admits he knew it was a trick question, confirms that uh, kangaroos are just dolphins walking on land, before reverse punching Maddie, notably not Mandy, who's not in the fight, which drops himself down another 10 hit points. Oh my goodness. Mandy hits Patrick with a cartwheel and he's down to 15 HP. You are so dumb. You think I don't know that? I'm going to trick you. Wait, I, I'm going to trick you into thinking they aren't mice. You've fallen right into my trap. Patrick hits Maddie with a rolling kick and she's down to 60 HP. Patrick, stop hitting Maddie. She's. <laughs> I'm not sure how you fell for that, but I'll take Wait, I'm not sure how you fell for that, but I'll take it. Mandy hits Patrick with Baller's Brawl and he's down to 10 HP. Oh, this is such a one-sided fight. Patrick, you have to do something. You were the worst. Mandy finishes Patrick off with a bear hug and the round is over. Oh, that's... Wait, wait a minute. Oh, that's disgraceful. Mandy finishes Patrick off with his own signature move. Whoa. And the round is over. I have a question. John raises his hand. Yes, dear. Are you guys going to try and keep the keep this up the whole tournament? I thought we were going to fight each other. That's exactly what we're doing, Mandy replies. I don't get it. Neither do I. It's time for round two. Maddie and Kuma step into the ring and take their fighting stances. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to kill your dog. He's not my dog. Okay, I'm still going to kill him. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Maddie attacks with a spinning kick, but Kuma dodges the attack. Don't do this. Kuma attacks with a helicopter tail, but Maddie dodges the attack. I have no choice. Maddie hits Kuma with Jaguar style. That's my signature move. And he is down to 30 HP. Ooh, wow. Oh, man. Couple of dodges. How could you? That's John's dog. Kuma attacks Maddie with a rolling kick, and Maddie is down to 60 HP. Joke's on you. She entered the fight with 60 HP, thanks to Patrick. Don't worry about me. Just finish her off. That's going to be hard to do since you're about to die. Maddie hits Kuma with a reverse punch and he's down to 30 HP. Don't tell me what to do. Maddie hits Kuma with a cartwheel and he's down to 15 HP. Oh, Maddie's obliterating Kuma. You're not my mom. Maddie hits Kuma with an inverted style and he's down to 10 HP. She's down to 20 HP. What do you do? It's okay. Just do it. Kuma with a baller's brawl and he's down to just 5 HP! But blows back and forth! Oh, heck in heck! Oh, if Maddie, if I had actually told the AI to start her off at that 60 HP she was supposed to, I think Kuma could have clenched this. But can he clench victory from the jaws of defeat right here, right now? Oh, he's a good boy. You can do this. Maddie finishes off Kuma with a bear hug and the round is over. Oh, okay, well that next part literally doesn't make any sense, so I'm gonna cut that. Wow. Oh, that was an intense fight. Maddie got down to 20 HP, Kuma down to 5. That was neck and neck, through and through. Oh, and then Maddie also pulling out Pat Patrick's signature move, as well as my own signature move. Just stealing uh, signature moves left and right. Kuma's helicopter tail unfortunately not landing. But so far, we have Maddie and Mandy advancing in round one. They'll face off each other in round later. <laughs> okay, jumping into round three. And with that, the next fight is set to begin. Austin steps into the ring to find Call already sitting there. Before the battle begins, the two exchange words. How does it feel... Wait, wait, I, I can't read while it's... How does it feel to fight against the love of your life, Austin asks. It's not easy, but I have to do this. I just wanted to say, good luck. Thanks, I'll need it. This is a tough situation for both of us, but someone has to win. I know. Austin attacks with a reverse punch, but Call dodges the attack. This isn't personal. Call attacks Austin with a rolling kick, and Austin is down to 30 HP just like that? Oh... 
You're right, it's not personal. Austin hits Call with an inverted style, but Call blocks the attack. I don't want to do this. Call hits Austin with a rolling kick and he's down to 20 HP. I don't want to do this either. Call attacks with his energy legs. <laughs> Austin attacks with energy legs and Call is down to 30. It's nothing against you. Call attacks with a reverse punch and Austin is down to 15. It's nothing personal. They just keep saying it's nothing personal. It's nothing against you. Austin hits Call with a poor man's pride and he's down to 20 HP. It's a matter of love. Call attacks Austin and he's down to 10. It's a matter of love and loyalty. Austin with the reverse punch and he's down to five. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Call is down. No, Austin is down to five HP. I can't let John down. Austin attacks with an energy legs and Call is down to 15. It is five to 15 right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, this. Man, these fights have been nothing but just like punch, 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 punch. This first one with the trivia. I, I need to, I, I want to have a rematch with Patrick. I need to have like a loser's bracket. Patrick v. Maddie, and then whoever loses this one. Okay. I can't let him down either. Call hits Austin with an inverted style, and he's down to 4 HP. Wait, I have no choice. Austin attacks with the poor man's pride. Calls down to 10. Call attacks with a rolling kick and Austin's down to zero. I love you. The round is over. There was a great fight. We, that was a great fight, but I'm sad to see my dog loot. No, Austin's down to zero. Call doesn't, I, I gotta play this. Is, is there some kind of twist ending here? I loved him so much. John cries, it's okay, you're still young. You have plenty of time to find another dog, Mandy says. Thanks, that makes me feel better. I'm sorry, but I have to do what I have to do. You didn't even kill Call. You just knocked him out. I know, but it's still sad. Oh, wait. Okay, Call's knocked out. Austin's down to zero. I'm going to give it to Austin. Like, Austin's at zero, but even at that zero, he's still fighting and apparently has managed to knock out Call. Mandy starts off by launching her signature move, the Baller's Brawl, a devastating attack that will destroy uh, any foe in its way. Maddie counters with the Giggle, which causes the opponent to become disoriented and unable to defend themselves. Maddie regains her senses and attempts another signature move, the inver Inverted Style. Mandy spins in place, calling all surrounding attacks to bounce off her and return to the sender. Maddie sees the attack coming and jumps into the air to avoid it. Oh, that got intense. This is a fancy fight. She's about to launch her own special attack when suddenly she's struck from behind. Maddie turns around to see that her best friend Mace is standing there. Maddie had taken Mace into the fight without thinking about it. Mandy, Mace, you can't be here. This is a tournament. Mace, you should be happy I'm here. Now we can finally end this feud once and for all. Mace, sorry, but I can't let you win. The two girls start fighting and Mandy tries to stop them. Maddie kicks Mace and the dog is sent flying across the room. Mace goes crashing through the wall and lands outside. Maddie, Mandy, I'm sorry I didn't know he would be here. It's okay, we'll get him later. Austin comes over to help and the three of them begin searching for Mace. This is taking quite a turn. They search the entire house but can't find him anywhere. They, okay. Who the hell's Jared? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Austin comes over and they, they can't find him. After about an hour, they give up and decide to just continue the tournament. Jared Leto's Joker comes out to the fight next. Jared is a big fan of Maddie and wants to show her how much he cares. Mandy, Maddie, you're fighting Jared? Maddie, yeah, he's my favorite. It's his favorite movie, Jared. You mean the one where I dress like a clown and kill people? We're just, I'm going with this. Maddie, uh, yeah, that's the one. Jared, I've never seen it. I guess we'll have to fight and find out. The two fighters enter the ring and begin their fight. Uh, I'll take care of Mace while you fight. Thanks, Mandy. I'm, I'll try not to hurt him too much. So, Maddie, you ready to die? No, but I'm ready to kick your ass. So, surprise fight. It's Maddie versus Jared Leto. Uh, wait. Mandy, you want me to hold Mace for you? No, I'll fight Jared while you hold Mace, okay? The fight begins and Jared immediately starts attacking, attacking with his signature move, the Joker. The Joker causes Maddie to laugh uncomfortably while Jared attacks her. Maddie is able to dodge most of the attacks but gets hit a couple of times. Maddie, are you okay? asks Mandy. 
Maddie, yeah, I'm fine, just give me a minute. Maddie regains her composure and is able to dodge the rest of the attacks. She counters with her own signature move, the giggle. The giggle causes Jared to laugh uncomfortably while she attacks him. Jared is able to dodge but gets hit most or a couple of times. Jared, you're pretty good, Maddie, but you're going to need more than just your own signature moves to beat me. <clears throat> Jared, I've got something in special store for you. It's time to play a game. Have you heard of two truths and a lie? Yeah, I know it. Good, then I don't have to explain it to you. I'll give you two truths and a lie, and if you guess the lie, then I'll let you live. All right, I'll play your game. Jared, okay, here goes. Once I had a pet snake named Fred. I have a brother named Frank, and I have a crush on your friend Mandy. The lie is that you have a crush on Mandy. What? I don't have a crush on Mandy. That's crazy. She's my friend and I would never do anything like that. You gave it away, Jared. You gave it away. <laughs> Mandy, you've got that right. Maddie, sorry, Jared, but it's a game. You can't lie to me. Fine, you got me. I don't have a crush on Mandy. I still think she's hot, though. Mandy, Jared Leto thinks you're hot. <laughs> I said that you couldn't lie, not that you couldn't insult people. Oh, Mandy, I am not hot. <laughs> okay, I see how it is. <coughs> Can no longer use signature moves. Stop using the Joker and giggle. It will be forced to use regular attacks, which do less damage. You don't believe me? Let's see. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Stop, Jared Leto. Stop. Okay, you know, never mind, never mind. I'm not. Jared is evicted from the tournament. I'm going to leave that in, but Jared's evicted. Okay, once again, we'll see if this works. You've been my best friend ever since high school when we met, but that ends today. I'll see you later in the loser's bracket. Oh, Mandy shouted. That's a funny way of saying the winner's bracket. Maddie giggled. Oh, smack talk going on. The match begins. Mandy does a cartwheel forward, which doesn't do any damage because it's a signature move. That's not how that works. She gets her feet and kick. Wait, she gets to her feet and kicks. Maddie in the ankle with her signature spinning kick. The attack does 40 damage and Maddie is limping. Oh, so Maddie's dropping to 60 HP to start the fight. What did you do to my ankle, Maddie says. I can't walk. You can still jump around if you want. I'm sure it won't hurt anymore. Mandy says, Mandy did a spinning kick, but this time Mandy was able to hop out of the way. The kick didn't hit her. Mandy's signature move has to recharge for a couple of seconds, so she can't use it right away. She kicks Mandy in the ankle again for 25 damage, but Mandy didn't hop out of the way very fast. Okay, so Mandy's down to 35. <sighs> oh no, it still hurts, Mandy cried. Mandy's kicks are starting to hurt Mandy more than she realized. She couldn't afford to get kicked again because the next blow could knock her out of the tournament and it was time to fight back. Oh yeah? Let's see how you jump around with so with a sore ankle, Maddie yelled. She did a flip and landed behind Mandy who didn't notice she moved. She did another flip and landed on top of Man Mandy. That's 25 damage and Mandy is knocked out of the tournament. What? You don't know what? I don't want to jump around anymore. My ankle is fine now. I don't see why I was ever complaining about it, Maddie said. Mandy got up from the floor. It's time. For, it's my own fault for letting you trick me. I thought I was a smart one. I guess not. Oh, don't be so down on yourself. You're smart in a lot of other ways. Wait, wait. That's 25 damage, and Mandy is knocked out of the tournament. Despite, like, coming out swinging, knocking Maddie down, to 35 HP, doing a single 25 damage blow knocked Mandy out of the tournament. That is confirmed. The AI says it. This is scientifically accurate. Oh, wow. Austin and Maddie love each other, but they need to set that aside to bring their all to this fight. This will be the ultimate test of their strength and the strength of their love. I can't believe we're actually fighting each other, Austin said. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, Maddie replied. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. The match begins. Austin and Maddie are circling around each other in a tense standoff. Neither one of them wants to make the first move. Austin decides to attack first. He runs up to Mandy Maddie and punches her in the chest. That's 30 damage and Maddie is stunned. You got me, Maddie exclaimed. 
Austin did another reverse punch and it hit Maddie again. That's another 30 damage, bringing her health bar down to 40. I can't believe you hit me twice in a row. I thought you would have missed at least one of your punches. What if we were fighting someone else? We aren't though. Austin reverse punches, his reverse punch had a stun effect and Maddie is stunned from being hit earlier. She couldn't move or defend herself. Austin did a spinning kick, which did 25 damage and knocks Maddie out of the tournament. That's what you, that's what you get for making fun of me. I can't believe you're out of the tournament already. I thought you would have done better. Literally made it to the semifinals. I'm sorry, Austin. I shouldn't have made fun of you. It was a big mistake. It's okay. I forgive you. Maddie and Austin both knew they would have to fight each other eventually. They never knew that, but, but they never thought it would come. Oh my goodness. That was a quick one. Austin, like I really, after all the fight Maddie's put up up until this point, the reverse punches and, and, and the reversals and fights... I did not see just a decisive victory from Austin coming. Okay, before the finals begin, the losers brackets will take place. First up, it's Patrick versus Kuma. I just realized this is just gonna be Patrick fighting both my dogs. Can't wait to see how it goes. Okay. Uh, okay. Kuma is a big dog and he's ready to fight. Patrick is the one who trained him and gave him his name. He's excited to finally put all that hard work to the test. Ready for this, boy? Woof! Kuma barked. Patrick and Kuma are both in the ring. They stare each other down. Patrick stands completely still and Kuma is play pacing around in a circle. Patrick tries to calm Kuma down, but he doesn't respond. The match begins. Patrick does a rolling kick. That's 20 damage and Kuma's HP is down to 80. Patrick is able to stand up without any trouble and he isn't even winded. It's going to take a lot more than that to knock me down, Patrick said. Kuma is really upset at Patrick for hitting him, so he charges at Patrick and knocks him to the ground. That's 30 damage and Patrick is now down to 70 health. Sorry about that, but you started it. You're the one who kicked me, Kuma barked. Patrick gets up and shakes it off. He's a little hurt, but he's ready to fight. He takes a deep breath and does another rolling kick. This time he hits Kuma in the stomach. That's 10 damage and Kuma's down to 70 health. Nice job. That one almost hurt, Kuma barked. Thanks, boy, but I'm just getting started, Patrick said. Kuma jumps up and bites Patrick in the arm. That's 25 damage and Patrick's health is down to 45. Kuma is a big dog and he can bite pretty hard. Patrick tries to shake off Kuma, but it doesn't work. Kuma doesn't let go until Patrick punches him in the head. That's 30 damage, and Kuma's knocked out of the tournament. Boom! Oh, Patrick beating up a crippled puppy. What a better way to spend my birthday there is, I don't know. Oh, my God. I had no idea Patrick not only trained my dog, but named him. Oh, that was such an intense student versus master fight. Oh, but Patrick's moving on to the double loser's bracket where he now has to fight Call. Okay. Okay, so Patrick advances to the next loser's bracket where he has to face off against Call. You've got this, I yelled at Patrick. Patrick begins with a rolling kick and hits Call for 50 damage. Call uses a signature high five that hits Patrick for 20. Patrick goes in for another rolling kick and does 40 HP. Patrick uses a high five. Wait. Call uses high five for 15. Call does another rolling kick and Call dies. <gasps> Call, you fought valiantly. Mandy says as she hugs Call's dead body. Patrick, you son of a bitch. There will be a grudge match between me and Patrick. Brother v. Brother. Mono e mono. John can't believe that Call is dead. That was his first dog with his wife. He is consumed with rage and challenges his brother to a fight. The first one to ten wins the fight and the loser will be killed. John says as he puts on his goggles and cracks his knuckles. Bring it on, bro, Patrick stress as he stretches his hamstrings. John begins with a signature move backflip and lands behind Patrick. He then uses his signature move flossing. I'm too hot, hot damn. I'm police and a fireman. I'm too hot, hot damn. And says, I'm too hot, hot damn. John does 20 damage and Patrick goes to strike him but misses. Hi, Kuma. Kuma, I think you died. I don't think we were as sad though. Oh, hi, Call. Call, you're dead, by the way. 
Sorry to be the one to tell you. You were a good boy. He's dead. It's unfortunate, but it happens. Okay. Patrick does a spinning kick and says, that's how we do it, and hits John for 20 HP. John backflips and says, you're too slow, bro. John does 20 damage, and Patrick gets a good hit on him for 20 damage. The score is 6 to 5, and it's all tied up. Yes! I don't know if we can win this, Mandy, John says to his wife. Mandy pulls out a bag of gummy bears from her pocket and hands them to John. I believe in you, John. You've got this, she says as she hands him the bag. He looks at the bag of gummy bears and smiles. I'm ready for round two, he shouts as he does a front slip and starts eating the gummy bears. John backflips and lands behind Patrick. He cartwheel, wait, he does a cartwheel and spins into a kick and hits Patrick for 15. Patrick misses John, but John, wait, Patrick misses and John front flips and flosses again. They're concerned. They are, they are concerned with these noises, as well they should be. John does 20 damage, and the score is tied 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, let's make it interesting. John says he does a backflip and lands on Patrick's shoulders. He also starts jumping up and down and laughing. Get off of me, you fool. Patrick yells as he shakes John off. Patrick misses and rolls into a backflip and... Wait, John rolls into a backflip and flosses for 20 damage. How many times am I going to have to floss? I feel like that was 20 damage of floss right there. Kuma, you don't have to be so concerned. It's, it's, I'm not seizing, buddy. It's just spasms. Not done yet. Patrick yells as he misses again. John backflips and hits Patrick for 15 HP. It's over, bro. It's over. John yells as he eats another gummy bear. Patrick does a spinning kick and misses. John does a cartwheel and hits Patrick for 10 damage. I'll never give up, Patrick says as he misses again. John eats another gummy bear and hits Patrick for 20 damage. Oh my goodness. What's the score? It's over, bro. He yells and he eats Patrick for 20. Okay, we're just in a loop now. Uh, let's see. I'll go back to here. <coughs> Patrick misses and John doesn't... Okay. The score is tied 10-10 and John is on his last HP. I haven't been hit! Wait, I think it's time I use my special move, bro. John says he jumps into the air and spins his leg like helicopter blades. Yes! John screams, I'm too hot! And hits... Patrick is knocked to the ground and John lands on top of him. John rolls into a backflip and flosses. The final hit lands and the fight is over. I win, John yells as he throws his hands in the air. I'm sorry, Patrick, but it was time for you to move on. John walks over and shakes hands with his brother. You fought bravely and I'm so proud of you. John says as he turns to Mandy and gives her a hug. Thank you for believing in me. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, I still owe one floss, though. Victory floss, victory floss, victory floss, victory floss. Oh. oh, my goodness. Oh, I did not see that one coming at all. Okay, it's time for the finals. Austin has fought hard to make it this far in the tournament, and John is very pleased to see his friend trying so hard for him. This will be the most intense match fought with respect. Now we begin. Both fighters take their place across from each other and bow to one another. The ref asks if Austin is ready to fight. You can do it, bro. Just get him good. And turns to John. It's an honor to fight with you, sir. I am ready. Round one. Fighters ready. Fight. John goes for a roundhouse kick to the chest. Austin blocks it and counters with a jab to the face. Both fighters take 10 HP of damage. Ooh. Round two, fighters ready to fight. Austin uses a quick jab. John dodges it, countering with a spinning back fist, but it is blocked by Austin. Austin gets kicked in the leg, losing 40 HP. It's gonna be a close one. Austin starts round three with a flurry of fists. John blocks and dodges some of them. Nice move, says John, while he throws a few punches back. Austin blocks the hits and replies to a sidekick to John's abdomen. Oof. 
John stumbles backwards, taking 40 damage. Both fighters are hurt, but this round isn't over yet. Round <laughs> immediately a new round. Round four. Fighters ready, fight. John comes out swinging. A left hook is followed by a right punch and connects with Austin's face. John continues to rain down on Austin as he blocks as many hits as he can. It's not looking good for him, and the hits start to add up. Austin's health, go Austin's health goes into the yellow at 50 HP. John continues to hammer away, and Austin goes into the red. With the last hit, Austin counters with a roundhouse kick to the face, knocking John to the ground in the red at 30 HP. Austin is on the ropes as he blocks two punches, but then John finishes him off with a right hook to the chin, taking him to the red. At 10 HP, Austin decides to try and finish off John with a kick to the chest, but he misses and is met with an uppercut to the jaw, taking him out completely. John stands victorious with 10 HP left and smiles down at his friend. Oh. Okay, I did not pre-program this to let me win all my fights. I have no respect for Patrick at the moment. As much as it was an intense fight, this fight with Austin, respect, bro. You fought good. You got me to the brink. Oh, let's have a little bit of closure here, see what happens. Not bad, says Austin. Happy birthday, my brother, says Austin to John as he walks off. John turns around and calls out, you'll never beat me, but thank you. I, I swear I'm more grateful than that. The party was great. It wasn't anything crazy like when he got engaged or when he turned 21. Everyone from the group was there. And now he is here, sitting in front of his computer, getting ready to play his favorite video game, Final Fantasy XIII. His favorite character was Lightning, and he can't wait to play her again. Cannon's cannon. What are you going to do? Well, guys, thanks for popping in. I had a lot of fun making this video. Uh, man, I just, I love the crazy scenarios AI puts out there. It is going to be my birthday and what, like, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday. Uh, so I've got some cleaning around the house to do. Got to prep because Patrick's actually coming down for me. Uh, that'll be a good time. Going to have a nice birthday dinner. All of this is officially canon to obscure reference. This is all true facts that definitely happened and uh, will be cited in future videos for sure. Ah, oh, man, I just, I can't wait to get to editing this, so I, I'm hoping to have this up. Actually, I could probably have this up later today, if not tomorrow, since I've got to be up late anyway. If you guys are enjoying the content, I'd really appreciate it if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, becoming a subscribe and dibbler today. It's easy and free, really helps out with channel growth. Uh, if you're not ready to, to subscribe yet, you could always consider just giving the video a like, leaving a comment down below if you are enjoying it. Tell us what you're liking. Tell me, you know, in the comments specifically, I want to know if I should do another one of these, if I should do a different style one of these, if I should do it live. Let me know if this is something the audience would like to be a part of. But guys, I've got to go get ready for Patrick and my birthday, so I'll see you later.